So I could stand here and I could share polling data with you. I could share research to support common sense gun reform. But required background checks are just that. They're common sense. I do not need research. I do not need statistics to know that in the wrong hands, guns intimidate, guns kill. My community has never seen a mass shooting. It has never made headlines. It has never been in the news. But my community knows the impact of the ripple of trauma by the lack of inaction created by this distinctly American problem of gun violence. During the summer of 2019, I had professional development um, at an elementary school that I worked at. And we were taught how to prepare ourselves and our students to brace our school for an active shooter. We did this in partnership with our local police department and a friend of mine, our lieutenant, led this training. So he wanted us to know what the sound of a gun was like. So he shot a blank weapon. I remember the sound of the gun. I remembered the plume of smoke and the smell, kind of like sulfur almost. That happened in our school library, an elementary school library where I have to go and teach. This is a place where my kids would go to read, to draw, to color, to learn and be with their friends. Now at school, I have to teach kids how to survive. The morning after Oxford, I knew it would be a tough morning because I have to answer the questions that people in this room don't have to, don't have the courage to. Every day, before art or music or gym, I sit my kids in a circle in the front of my room at the carpet. I had a mailbox they put slips of paper in. Usually, they want to talk about their football game. They want to talk about their loose tooth. They want me to fix a problem that they're having with their friends at recess. That day, they assembled themselves at my, at my carpet in a circle in silence. They waited for me. They did lunch count by themselves and a kid brought me my mailbox. The mailbox was full. I didn't even ask them to do it. They did it themselves. Because people like us don't do enough. We haven't done enough. We've made enough excuses. At our morning meeting, I sat there in silence, terrified to have to answer these questions to have to read these questions from these kids. They asked me things like, what if the shooter comes here? Why do people do this? What if I have a sibling in the school? What if they shoot you? What if I fall when I run? What if I'm too afraid and I forget what to do? These are the questions that I don't have the answers to. I had to answer those questions because people like us don't have the courage to. If people in rooms like this and people like us would have done better, would have been doing more, I might still be in my classroom right now, but instead I'm here doing this work. We have been conditioned to look away. We have been conditioned to carry on. We have allowed people in organizations with means and power to influence our decisions in the way that we govern in this room. This package will not take anything away from gun owners. It will merely be an inconvenience to you. The same way you inconvenience my curriculum so I can teach my kids survival. A required background check, much like 
every parent who comes into my classroom has to have to read to my students. Required background checks, they ensure runs, guns are kept out of the wrong hands. I don't want to have to be here right now. I don't want to have to do this right now. I'm afraid. I'm afraid to sponsor this bill. I'm afraid to support gun reform. I am afraid that men with guns will intimidate me. I'm afraid that men with guns will threaten me. But I am not afraid enough to act. So today I ask you to stand with me. I ask you to be afraid with me. I ask you to change your mind, to understand the importance of this. This will not end gun violence. This will simply be a step in doing something. So our future generations don't have to do this anymore. Thank you, Madam Speaker.